Hey first graders, welcome back to the art room. I'm Mrs. Ash and I'm excited to be doing some art again with you. So today for class, we need some scissors. You can see right here, it says scissor skills. Um, and I have a big pair of scissors that I drew. So today we are gonna be practicing with scissors. We need some scrap paper. So some things you can cut up. Don't cut up anything in your house that you're not allowed to cut up. So I'm using um, like my practice lines that I made last art. I'm gonna cut up those because I don't need that. Um, I have an old piece of art that I never finished. I made this llama a couple years ago and I never finished it, so I'm gonna cut that up. Um, maybe you have something in your house that you don't need, like a piece of mail that nobody needs or like, um, this was part of a calendar. I used that to cut up, so um, maybe pause this video, go grab yourself some scrap paper and your scissors, and also if you have any Play-Doh, okay? Um, this is optional, all of this is optional, but I mean you don't, this part, you don't have to have the Play-Doh. If you don't have Play-Doh, we'll just do it on paper, what we were gonna do with it was just one of the, um, one of the ideas I had for practicing scissor skills. All right, go grab those things and meet me back here, pause me if you don't have your stuff ready. Okay, alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to hold a pair of scissors. Now we used scissors all year last year, and so and I know you use them in your classroom, so I know that um, this is probably a review, but as, as a reminder, you are going to hold your scissors with your thumb on the top, or up, okay? So when you're holding scissors, you don't hold them this way, okay, where your thumb is down. My thumb is the closest to the table. You want your thumb to be the closest to the ceiling, okay? So thumb up, I would say, or thumb on top. Okay, so your thumb goes in the little hole and your other fingers go in the bigger space, all right? Um, if you only have, you have a pair of scissors that only has a smaller hole here, you could do tall man, that's your middle finger, and the thumb, okay, there. If you have room, can't try to get myself on my screen. If you have room to fit more fingers in, you could fit more in. Yeah, you can do it how you can fit. Okay, so when you're cutting, you want to do little snips. Big snips make it hard to follow a path that you're trying to cut. Okay, so little snips, and I'm doing that just by pinching my fingers closest to my thumb. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Okay, so the first scissor skill we are going to try to do today is called fringe. Okay, fringe is um, usually found at the edge of something, and it's usually found on fabric at the edge or the border of a piece of fabric or a shirt or a piece of jeans, and it's when you see things hanging off of an edge. So um, sometimes it's like tassels or it could be fabric or string. We are gonna make fringe with paper, okay? Should I fringe up my llama? I think I should. No, actually I think I'm gonna fringe up my, my line types. All right, so what you're gonna do, hold your scissors in this hand, get ready to pinch, pinch, pinch. And for fringe, all you have to do is you just cut a little line into your paper. You don't cut the whole way through. And we're gonna do little cuts like that all the way along this border or edge of the paper. So just gonna go cut. I'm not cutting the whole way through my paper. Nothing's we're cutting off. It's just creating this little effect on the edge. Can you see that there? It's called fringe. Okay, let's try. You guys can get yours out too and you can cut with me. Cut, cut, cut. Made it all the way to the end. Look at that. Cool fringe, right? Fringe is neat. You can fold one forward. Fold, you can fold it back, forward, back, forward. That's neat. Let's try that. One forward, one piece of fringe forward, one piece of fringe backwards. Look, 
<laughs> to the whole paper like that. With the whole edge. That's silly looking, right? Okay, so now I'm going to fringe the rest of my paper. This edge, this edge, and this edge. You do it too. Practice those cutting skills. Keep your thumb at the top, your other fingers underneath. Keep your elbow down and in. Okay, you don't want to start cutting like this. Here we go. I'm trying to show you, but I have to pull my elbow up then. I'm getting tired of cutting. Woo! So now my whole paper has been fringed. I think I'm gonna go around and fold all my edges too. So if you wanna do that, you can. It's kind of tricky on the corner how that looks then. <laughs> it kind of sticks up. So I'm just going forward and then folding this one back. Pulling this one forward, pulling the next one back. Every other and it's a pattern. So that's fringing. Alrighty, now what we are going to do is we are going to follow a path. Okay, that's another way we can practice cutting. So grab a piece of paper and what you're gonna wanna do is, it doesn't, ha it can have anything on it. Mine just happens to be blank, but it doesn't need to be. You are going to make um, a line on your paper and then I want you to try to cut that line out. So let's put a couple lines across. We don't want to give ourselves too much of a challenge. Don't make it like the hardest line ever to cut. But definitely let's do a straight line. Let's try cutting a curvy line. And how about, do you think I could cut a zigzag? That's tricky, tricky. Make them wide as zigzags. Don't make them too much like that because that's pretty hard unless you really want a challenge. Okay. Let's see if we can cut this guy out. I think I'm gonna stand up so you can see my cutting. Okay. Here I go, I'm gonna start at the bottom here. And I'm gonna cut all the way through. So it's kind of different than the fringe we didn't cut through. Trying to follow my path and doing little tiny cuts all the way so that I stay on my path. Woohoo! Can you see? Cut off my first one. This one gets a little harder. So as I'm going around these turns, I'm turning the paper with this hand and I'm turning my scissors with this hand. Try to not let that elbow get up when you're trying to cut. Whoop. Two done. 
good. Okay, here's my heart. This is my hard, hard, hard line. So I'm just going back and forth, taking my time, still doing little cuts to try to stay on that line. So you can see when I go to flip to the next one, I have to completely turn my paper back this way. So cut this way. And I'm going to turn my paper again. Cut this way. Back and forth. That zigzag's tricky. And back and forth. Woo! Whoa! Okay. Let's see. Get out of the way, llama. Now, let's try and put them back together, kind of like a puzzle. One. Let's see. Okay, so mix them up. Now let me see if I can get the camera to show down here. Okay, all right, let's move some of our move some of our stuff here. Okay. Alrighty, so let's try and put this back together. And if you cut up something that had something on the back of it, this would be even more fun to put together. So, let's see here. So that fits back together like that. That fits there, and then this guy fits. Oh, this way, I thought it was right. Oh, no, no, he goes on this side. And there's my paper all put back together from my lines. Pretty cool. Okay, so we have followed a path. We have cut fringe, and now we are going to try to do something um, a little bit different. We are going to cut Play-Doh, okay? Now, if you don't have any Play-Doh, take one of the strips that you cut, and you're gonna use that instead. So what I say with Play-Doh is I want you to take it, roll it in a ball, okay? And then once you have it in a ball, I want you to Take it on your table, and I want you to roll it out, okay? And now I'm pressing down and pushing forward. Not too hard that it's smooshed in, into your table, but. Okay, now, um, and Play-Doh is just really fun to cut, so I like to use it to practice getting a nice hold on my scissors and making little cuts, okay? And so I just think it's fun to cut different materials than paper, and this is something that you'd be allowed to cut. Now, if you get Play-Doh on your um, scissors, it comes off super easily. You can put scissors in the dishwasher, you could just wipe off scissors with a little water and a paper towel. All right, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut these into little sections. And you'll see that it is really nice to cut and fun. It's like I'm cutting for some food for dinner. This is my food. always pretend that when we are in school using Play-Doh. Okay, so let's see how many we got. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If you do not have Play-Doh, take one of your strips and make it skinny like I'm doing. That you already cut up. And then now let's cut all of these. And when we cut, before we were cutting fringe, where we weren't going the whole way through the paper. For the Play-Doh and for the strip of paper, we're cutting the whole way through. So we're practicing that cutting all the way through. It's kind of fun, right? Did you get lots of little pieces? Very cool, okay. Let's roll up our Play-Doh. And so yes, you can practice your hold for your scissors with your Play-Doh. You can practice cutting with it. Maybe you can cut it this way. Ah, okay. Um, just make sure you wipe off your scissors when you're done with the Play-Doh. All right, so that's the fun of cutting Play-Doh. So we have cut fringe. We have cut lines following a path. We have cut up Play-Doh for fun. We've cut up strips if we didn't have any Play-Doh. All right. Our last thing to do with our Play-Doh is to try to cut out a shape. Okay, so lines, 
are nice because when you cut them, you can go all the way through the paper. A shape is kind of tricky because you have to go around and follow the shape completely. So what you're gonna wanna do, you can use one of your strips. You can use um, a new piece of paper, however you wanna do it. Where did my llama paper go? I'll use that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a shape or something that I want to make on my picture and then I'm going to cut it out. So I'm gonna do a circle, just cutting a circle is tricky. And I'm gonna do a star. Okay, so I made both of them. And now I'm gonna try and follow that path. So I have to cut, go into my, pick a spot to enter onto my paper, oh you can't see. I picked right there. And now I am going to cut, I'm gonna follow the path just like I would with my line. I'm just not going to the edge of my paper. Ooh, this star, you gotta do a lot of back and forth like the zigzag piece, huh? So it's the same as following a path, it's just in the path of a shape. I need this as a little barrette. Do you think I can wear it as a little barrette? Let's see. Let's see if it'll stay in with some tape. circle, keeping my thumb up, and I'm turning the paper while turning my arm, okay, it's kind of both, see that, keeping my elbows in though, not up here trying to cut, all right, so, oh, look at my edges, and then, usually, the parts that are left over are always so cool. Okay, so um, today we have fringe cut, we have followed a path, we have cut out shapes, we tried cutting Play-Doh, all right? Um, all to practice our scissor hold and getting those little cuts in and out on our line. So awesome, awesome job cutting today. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Send me pictures of your cutting. I know it's gonna be kind of weird because what you're not really showing me a picture. Your picture might look something like this. <laughs> It might look something like this, just to show me that you did some cutting, okay? It might have little pieces of Play-Doh if you've used Play-Doh. If you didn't, that's okay, right? It might look like that. It doesn't have to look like a finished piece of art today because it's not a finished piece of art today, right? All right, awesome, awesome job. Can't wait to see what you make.